Okay, hey guys, so um, I'm going to be sort of starting this thing, a uh, mini-series within this main series. It's going to take a long time, but I'm going to be going over every particle in the standard model. It'll probably come um, very slowly, you know, like it, we'll only have all the particles. It, it'll take a while to get all the particles. But um, I'm going to start it just to get a better understanding so people can understand my f further later videos better. So the first particle we're doing, we've already gotten the Higgs boson, I think, but that's it. Maybe the, maybe the top quark, but I'm not sure. Anyway, this uh, first particle is the bottom quark. So the bottom quark was originally supposed to be named beauty quark, but they changed it to bottom quark, which I like better. Anyway, it's a third generation quark, meaning it's the um, last generation of quark discovered. It's got a charge of minus one third, so it, it's got a negative charge. And so um, the bottom quark has a super large rest mass. It's 4.2 jev, or 4.2 giga electron volts. It's very large. It's four times the mass of a proton. Um, so it makes it very easy to see using this technique called B-tagging. Um, so um, yeah, it's B quarks are very easy to see. They also have these particle accelerators called B factories, and the entire goal of them is to produce bottom quarks. And um, so they're easy to produce and easy to create, which is very nice. Anyways, and so um, also uh, there's this thing called CP violation. It's where the uh, the the um, distinction, like how antimatter is supposed to be the exact same thing as matter except for the swapped charges. Um, well, that's CP violation is when that gets broken. I might do a video on that in the future. Anyway, um, it gets broken, and uh, when mesons containing the bottom quark are, those are the easiest particles to investigate um, how the weak force, no, I'm sorry, how CP violation, which is antimatter and matter, how that um, happens. And um, in fact, that's what they're some something of what they're doing at LHCb because at the LHC, LHCb stands for Large Hadron Collider Beauty, which is the bottom quark. So um, that's what they're looking for. Also, the bottom quark, almost all top quarks decay into bottom quarks, and the Higgs boson, if it's if it's in the lower end of the mass range, um, it would also decay into bottom quarks quite a bit. Uh, the um, bottom quark was discovered in 1977 by Fermilab, uh, another thing they've done. Um, like I said before, on, on its discovery, they were efforts to name it beauty, but as always, bottom became the predominant usage. And if bottom, if, if bottom were called beauty, what would the top quark be called? Would it be called ugly? Probably. The ugly quark. Anyway, that'd be really funny. Anyway, also the, the mean lifetime... The, uh, the average lifetime of most bottom quarks is, um, let's see, where is it? Uh-huh, 10 to the minus 12 seconds. So that's, um, I guess, slightly, it's, it's not much time, but for particle physics, it's plenty enough to study it. Uh, some particles that contain the bottom quark are B mesons, which contain a bottom quark or an anti-bottom quark, and an up or down, or anti-up or anti-down. Um, bottom charmed and bottom stranged mesons uh, contain a bottom quark or with a charm or a strange quark. There are the um, bottomonium states, uh, which is this uplisten up meson. I, I didn't. I wasn't sure of the symbol. Anyways, these consist of a bottom quark and an, an anti-bottom quark, which they don't last for very long at all. Um, bottom birons have been observed, and they're named with the analogy to sp strange birons. Anyway, um, yep. Just to go over everything here one last time. Third generation, it participates in the strong weak electromagnetic force and gravity, so all the four forces. Symbol is just B, the antiparticle is an antibottom quark. Um, it was discovered in 1977 at Fermilab. Its mass is 4.19 giga electron volts. It decays into a charm quark and an up quark through a weak violation. Its electric charge is minus one third. It has a color charge, has a spin of one half. That's why it's a fermion. Um, like I said, not a boson. All quarks are fermions. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that was informative. Um, bye.